This is a breaking news update out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. What's going on, everybody? Julian Sayan, a quarterback out of the class of 2024, has committed with the Crimson Tide. Trey Entity joined here with Andrew Bone to break it all down. Bone, of course, the expert in the industry, now looking at 19 years plus of experience. And, you know, over the 19 years, I know recruiting has changed for Alabama. Can you believe that they have now got another quarterback commit, this one in the class of 2024, another top five commit. What's your first reaction here as Alabama with an early strike at quarterback in 2024? Well, my first impression is, uh, you know, just very impressed. I mean, yeah, Alabama has two quarterback commitments in its 2023 class with uh, Eli Holstein, Dylan Lonergan, you know, two of the top 10 quarterbacks in the country. And then to go into the 2024 class and, and go ahead and wrap up, uh, you know, a humongous get uh, for the Crimson Tide here in Julian saying the number one player in the state of California, uh, you know, especially with, uh, you know, some of these schools that, you know, have, uh, you know, really pressed hard for to get him in their recruiting class, especially with LSU, the LSU uh, coaching staff went out to see him uh, last week. Alabama did not get an opportunity to go out and see him, but, you know, the biggest thing with, uh, with Julian is he was in Tuscaloosa a couple weeks ago. He was in uh, at Alabama for the Mississippi State game, spent all day Saturday on campus. But what people probably don't realize is he spent most of Sunday in Tuscaloosa as well. His brother uh, is a quarterback at Penn. His parents went and saw his brother play on Saturday, and then they flew down to Tuscaloosa on Sunday. And they were able to spend some time you know, around Coach Saban, Coach O'Brien, uh, you know, learn a little bit more about the Crimson Tides. And, you know, there was a really strong connection there. And uh, you know, I think that, you know, in the end, he decided that Alabama was the best place for him. You know, we've seen the development at the quarterback position, uh, you know, through the last several years, you know, the, the type of talent they've been attracting, but also, you know, the guys that they continue to put in the league. You, know, you got Bryce Young now, who is, uh, you know, potentially another, you know, top 10 draft pick for Alabama uh, at the quarterback position and certainly somebody that, uh, you know, Julian's looked up to. You know, he works with the same trainer uh, out in California uh, that Bryce did uh, growing up, you know, a guy that uh, he's been with since uh, since he was in, you know, just in the sixth grade. So this has been a, um, you know, a really big addition for Alabama in this recruiting class, in this 2024 class already to go ahead and get an elite quarterback this early in the recruiting process, uh, you know, I, I think that certainly helps uh, the 2024 class moving forward because, you know, I feel like every single year we kind of go into, you know, at least the last few years, we've kind of gone into the spring with Alabama only sitting with two, maybe three commitments, not a lot of momentum. That momentum usually happens in, in June, in July, when we start seeing this, these wave of commitments start happening. Alabama already has four commitments now in this 2024 class uh, and, and and which includes three top 100 guys with Julian saying Jalen and Perry Thompson. You also have Martavius Collins uh, tight end uh, from Rome, Georgia. You know, this is a great start to the 2024 class for Alabama and you can imagine that it's uh, going to continue to get better, but you know, Alabama's ability to continue to recruit elite quarterbacks uh, you know, regardless of who the offense coordinator is, um, I think that speaks volumes about uh, you know Coach Saban, their ability to recruit, their ability to go you know anywhere in the country and uh, and get uh, top players. It is amazing, and you know, just kind of the rundown here on Say and listed at six one one eighty five on on three dot com. Here's we kind of take a look at his recruitment. I want to dive into that battle between LSU, Alabama, maybe some other SEC contenders, but. You know, before we do that, it's amazing to think now just a month and a half away from early signing day in this 2023 class. You mentioned it, a couple of extremely talented quarterbacks already in this class as well. And Eli Holstein, Dylan Longerain. How does this commitment affect maybe their thought process at this point? You know, still have not signed that letter of intent, but are committed with the Crimson Tide. Well, I think they under they probably understood that you know Alabama was going to go after an elite quarterback. It's not like they were going to just sign two quarterbacks in twenty twenty three and then uh, you know go after somebody that wasn't very good in twenty twenty four. You know, it's Alabama. They're always going to go after elite players, and um, I think Eli and uh, and Dylan probably both understood that. And I, I would imagine that there were some conversations. Uh, you know, between Alabama and those guys before you know, taking another quarterback, uh, even though it's in the 2024 class, you always want to make sure that, uh, you know, the guys that you have 
already committed to the position that haven't signed just yet are still going to be okay with it. And um, yeah, I'm sure that they were, you know, completely fine because they're going to be there a year, uh, you know, prior to uh, to Julian getting there. But you know, like I said, this is a huge pickup. You know, definitely somebody that you know, I think that Alabama, you know, can really build this 2024 class around. Uh, obviously, they've already you know gotten off to a very hot start with the other commitments, but you know, this is a guy that can be a leader, a guy that can really attract other top talent, um, you know, to Tuscaloosa. But, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, as far as his skill set, you know, you mentioned it, you know, six foot one, about 185 pounds right now. He's not your prototypical, you know, six foot five, 225 pound quarterback that we used to see. You know, now we're, you know, I think with Bryce Young and two, uh, you know, some guys that, you know, aren't the biggest guys out there, you've seen the success that they've had. It doesn't really matter, you know, your size. It matters, you know, your skill set, you know, your ability to throw the ball. I think, the, you know, with Julian, you know, seeing him on the run and his ability to uh, to still generate power from his arm and, and throw accurate passes. I mean, this is a guy who's completing 69% of his passes uh, this football season, over 2,300 yards passing, uh, 25 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Very intelligent quarterback, can dissect and read plays, can process information extremely well. Um, you know, and I think his accuracy is something that uh, that's really impressive uh, with Julian, but also what I like from seeing on the film is you know, he's not just looking at his first option and then taking off running. He's checking down to his second, his third option, and uh, you know doing a really good job of uh, uh, of reading the defenses. So this is a um, you know this is a great addition for Alabama. I, you know, he's you know, one of the top overall quarterbacks in the country. I think he's really going to challenge to be that top quarterback, uh, our top two quarterback, uh, you know, when it all is said and done, you know, talking to his quarterback trainer who had a chance to uh, you know, really develop and, and work with some great guys out in California through the years. Um, you know, he said that you know, he could easily be the best of the bunch. And that's including uh, Bryce Young, who he, who he, they've worked with for, uh, for a very long time. He said, Julian's you know, right up there with Bryce and got a chance to be a really special player uh, at the college level. So uh, I'm sure that's going to make Alabama fans pretty happy, but it also makes the Alabama coaching staff um, extremely happy. And uh, I know how Bama fans think, well, what if Bill O'Brien ends up leaving? You know, you get a quarterback this early in the recruiting process. You know, there's always that, a chance that you know if your offense coordinator potentially leaves he goes and takes a you know coaching job elsewhere or takes a um you know, an assistant job or a head coaching job it doesn't doesn't really matter. You know, how's that how's that going to affect somebody like Julian saying this early in the process? So, talking to his quarterback trainer, they pretty much knew going into the decision that there is a chance that Bill O'Brien may not be there. Alabama. They have a ton of success on the offense side of the ball, which typically means their offense coordinators are going to get uh, jobs elsewhere, and uh, that's going to happen. And you know, they kind of understood that. But you know, what they told me, they said, you know, we've seen Alabama's offense not really change that much through the years, from you know, from Jalen to you know, Tua to Mac, now with Bryce, uh, you know. Everybody has their own kind of lingo, and you know, they're going to add some some uh, a different flavor flavor to it, but it's still pretty much going to be the same. And that's what they see at Alabama. And they also know at Alabama, if you repl if you got to replace your offensive coordinator, Coach Saban is going to go after one of the best uh, you know, offensive minds in the game and bring them in and, you know, continue to have success. They see the success that they have as far as the receivers that they recruit, the offensive linemen they recruit, the, uh, the you know, the offensive um, you know, running backs that they recruit. So I think this is something that Julian wanted to be a part of, regardless of who the offense coordinator is. Great relationship with Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien was the lead recruiter here had a uh, you know significant impact on Julian's decision but if Bill O'Brien does potentially leave and you know takes a job elsewhere after this season or potentially in the upcoming seasons I don't think that's going to change Julian's stance on Alabama I think he's sold on Alabama not necessarily just the coach um so this was a uh, you know home run get for the Crimson Tide today yeah, it should be comforting to hear if you're an Alabama fan saying really committed to this program here. Easy to be committed to Nick Saban with, you know, the track record. And when you talk about offensive coordinator, I don't think there's any uh, need to worry as you see who he's continued to replace you know, talent with talent. And 
you know, before we move on to, the, to this battle, real quick, if there's a player you had to compare Julian saying to maybe a guy that's been an Alabama here in recent memory or somebody we're watching right now across the landscape of college football, who would that player be? Well, you know, I, th- I think it's easy to say Bryce Young, and, and that's who his quarterback trainer compares him to. He said, you know, there's some things that Bryce does that – uh, that Julian, you know, doesn't do as well as far as uh, you know his escapability, his ability to uh, to glide and and run and, and make big plays with his legs. But as far as uh, his arm strength, uh, his ability to dissect plays, his ability to uh, you know break down uh, defenses, and uh, you know and you know the biggest thing that they were that they've been impressed with that Bryce can do that Julian also can do really well is throw the ball a ball on the run. When he escapes the pocket, he can, you know, he can wind up, he can generate power uh, in his arm to, uh, to throw an accurate pass. And I think that's something that um, that's been really impressive with Julian. But, you know, it's obviously been very impressive with, uh, with Bryce as well, his accuracy. And, uh, and that's definitely something that Julian brings to the table. Yeah. Exciting player to watch in Bryce Young. Expect the same here with Julian saying, and guys, please hit that like button if, if you have not done so already. Subscribe to our channel. You're gonna be want to you're gonna want to be part of this coverage as we get closer to that early signing day. A lot to cover as always, and we're gonna get you hooked up there at BamaInsider.com. So join our website, guys. Just ten dollars for the entire year, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Get in the comments. Let us know what you think about Julian saying, and as we dive a little bit deeper into this recruiting battle here. Really coming down to LSU and Alabama, some interest from Georgia as well. All these schools, you know, over 1,500 miles away from his hometown of Carlsbad, California. What were the, the final factors? I know you talked about Bill O'Brien a little bit, but when it came down to deciding between LSU, Alabama, Georgia, what were those factors that ultimately led him to choosing the Crimson Tide? Well, I think just playing in the SEC. I mean, it's you know certainly a very attractive place to any recruits. But yeah, you know, I was talking to his uh, you know quarterback trainer yesterday, and he was telling me he said, you know, there's a pretty big difference when you go to a game in the SEC uh, compared to a game in the Pac-12. Um, you know, it, there's just you know so much excitement and you know. Um, you know, just focus on these games that, uh, you know, all the fans are there. It's just, you know, rocking atmospheres and, uh, you know, definitely something that people want to be a part of. You know, you might go out to a Pac-12 game and you know, it might, might be a you know, half-empty stadium out there. So, you know, I, I think that just playing against elite level of competition, you know, week in and week out, being, in, you know, involved in those type of, uh, you know, environments um, and then everything that Alabama has to offer. Um, you know, you see the development at the quarterback position, but uh, I think it's so much more than that. I think, you know, they see what Alabama can do for you, uh, not only on the field, but off the field as well. And, uh, you know, when they were able to spend, you know, some real quality time in Tuscaloosa on that Sunday uh, after the Mississippi State game, I think they saw really everything that um, that Alabama can really do for you, but everything that um, – you know, that's there, that's, you know, that's easy to access and easy to um, uh, to help you become a better football player, but also help you become a better man. Yeah, it's going to be fun to kind of follow Julian as he gets closer, uh, you know, to his time in Tuscaloosa here as we follow the rest of his high school career. Just your closing thoughts today, Bone, is we talk about another big commit for, for Alabama here at the quarterback position and another big get in this class of 2024. Anything you want to add on and just your final thoughts on Julian Say. Well, you know, like I said earlier, this is a big commitment, big day for Alabama. Uh, you know, I would say going into his visit to Alabama a few weeks ago uh, that they were probably behind. I thought that LSU was the team to beat for him. Uh, he had not visited Alabama since June. Uh, he had taken a visit to LSU, and you know there was a uh, you know there was a lot of momentum on the LSU side. For, so for Alabama to uh, you know, really do a good job over the course of this last, uh, you know, these last few weeks leading up to his decision. Um, yeah, I think that uh, it was a remarkable job by them, you know, especially with, uh, especially with having two quarterbacks committed, because that's a little bit of a challenge, uh, even though, um, you know, people may not see it that way. It, it is a little bit of a challenge when you do have two quarterbacks already committed two elite quarterbacks, guys that are both in the top 10 overall to be able to go and get, Eight and, and a, another elite quarterback in the next next class. I think that says a lot uh, about Alabama. But you know, to go out to California, get the top recruit uh, in the state, and, um, and and now have him on your commitment list. Um, you know, 
very good job by the Alabama coaching staff there. And obviously, you know, a long way to go until uh, until signing day of uh, of 2024. Um, you know, of course, he'll sign in uh, I guess in December of 2023. But um, but yeah, I mean, this is a a good get. You got to hold on to him, but. He seems pretty firm. I mean, he took those visits. Uh, he knew the schools that he wanted to see. He took a lot of trips um, and really narrowed it down. And uh, I think he's pretty locked in. Yeah, what an amazing get here again. Out of Carlsbad, California, Carl being pretty good to the Crimson Tide at the moment. Guys, for the latest, again, go to BamaInsider.com to get uh, the full scoop on this story, along with everything else going on in the world of Alabama recruiting and the world of Alabama football as well. But Julian Sayan, a quarterback out of the class of 2024, has committed with the Alabama Crimson Tide.